Good morning, my YouTube friends. Oh man, it's uh, got a truck coming in. It's uh, like six twenty. A little chilly this morning. I, turn, I get up last night, and turned the the air on my bunk off. Getting a little cold. It's all right though. Uh, I appreciate all the comments from last night. Uh, Mr. Fox, I appreciate the long comment. That was awesome. Uh, I try to I try to address things in the in the best way possible. I think you know I've uh, I don't want to belittle anybody and 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 make a big fuss about things, but sometimes things need to be addressed. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> I do appreciate all the comments, even the negative ones, I do appreciate them, you know. Everybody has their opinion. But, uh, like I said, sometimes things got to be addressed. Uh, I want to do a shout out to, uh, uh, shout out to uh, a new YouTuber. His name is Tony. His channel is Trucking with Tony. And uh, he drives for Maverick. He's got a couple of videos out right now. He, uh... Three miles ahead. Turn left on ramp 9, 55 north. Okay, she's going to have to be quiet for a minute. Uh, he sent a message to uh, his fleet manager and wanted to talk to me. He'd been watching a few of my videos, and he, he'd wanted to start a YouTube channel, but needed some, needed a little advice, so I called him, and they sent me his, his phone number and I gave him a call and we talked for a good hour or so and uh, we've talked a few times after that he's a really good guy uh, trying to get his YouTube channel started so do me a favor and go over and uh, check his channel out I'm gonna put a link to his channel down in my description today and uh, he's put out a couple of videos and they're pretty good so go give him a watch uh, you probably like it so uh, yeah, and we're about we're about 50 miles from our customer. We're gonna get this dropped off, and hopefully they'll give me another load to uh, go home. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so that I can go home with something on me and get it delivered on Monday. If not, they'll probably deadhead me home if they don't have any loads. That's not gonna be cool, cause then I'm gonna have to. Then I'm gonna have to wait on Monday for another load. Not cool at all. But uh, it's a nice day, and so far. So let's go. We have made it. Uh, little R R P lumber. I guess they're a chain. It said they had 68 stores. I've never heard of them, but that doesn't mean anything either. Uh, also, uh, it's not trucking with Tony. It's rolling with Tony. But anyway, I'll put a link down below to his channel. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys went over there and checked him out hit and hit his subscribe button for him. Uh, encourage him to do a little more. Man, they had a sale going on, man. I bought, I bought a, a, I bought two rakes, a poly leaf rake and a, and a, and a metal rake for 20 bucks, not each, total, and I needed a new poly rake, mine was all bent up and I've had it for a while and needed a new one, but. They're going to come out here and get me when they're ready to get unloaded. And I'll go back here and... Uh, hopefully, they'll give me something to get on down the road and get home. Ready to go home. We'll see. Let's go. And we are done. We got a guy trying to come in. I'm trying to come out. 
Oh man. The load short in the area. 17 drivers in the area. 27 drivers empty in the area. 15. I'm number 17 on the board. That's not good. So I guess I guess we're just gonna sit here and wait for a minute. See what happens. I don't want to wait all day for a load. I'm going to go home. <laughs> As you can see, we are rolling. Rolling. So they... They, uh... My empty call... I can't remember if I said this in a video earlier. Uh, my empty call said that there were 27 trucks in the area. They were 17 loads short. I was number 17 on the board, which honestly, the, the, the number that you are on the board doesn't really mean that you're that you're going to be sitting for 17 loads, but um, but anyway, so my fleet manager had sent a message out to all of his trucks saying that if uh, if you deadhead if you were you had deadheaded home empty, that if you wanted to leave on Sunday, you know, let him know. Well, I sent him went back and I said I can I can go home empty. <laughs> and uh, finally, after about I don't know about 45 minutes, an hour or so, they sent me a deadhead home. So I'm headed home. I'm gonna head home empty, but that's okay. I can do that. I'm ready to get there? But it's gonna be about four hours. We got about 200 and 250 miles to go. So let's get on down the road. Yeah. We are almost home. We got about six miles, maybe. I am ready to get there. So, uh, going through Corning, Arkansas, uh, a little bit ago, and there's a 90 degree turn that you have to make to get uh, to get to. Pocahontas coming out of Missouri and so I make that turn and there is a gentleman standing in the middle of the road with a bunch of sacks and he was handing out care packages for truckers and a sign on the right hand side uh, in front of the uh, barbecue place that said uh, thank you truckers and so I rolled my window down and he hands me a Hands me a sack, and it's got a barbecue sandwich, a bag of chips, and a pastry in it. And they're garnered, and it's from uh, it's from Harold's Barbecue. And he said, he said, he said, everybody in the in in Corning got together and, and pitched in and bought us all care packages, and they were handing out care packages to all the truckers. And uh, I appreciate them for that. I said thank you and, and told him to be safe and have a good day. That's just thought, very thoughtful. We appreciate that. So uh, if you're ever in Corning, Arkansas, go visit Harold's Barbecue and uh, have some barbecue. I haven't tried it yet. I've been on the phone ever since, but uh, I've got it with me and I'm gonna I'm gonna try their barbecue. I'm, I bet it's pretty good. But heat it up first. <laughs> But, uh, like I said, as you can see, we're almost home, so, uh, we're going to get our butts home and see what's going on there. I don't know what else is going to go on today. This may be the end of the video. It may be not. I don't know. It all depends. We'll see. But let's go. Let's get home. All right, as you can see, it's not the end of the video. We are in Walmart, and we've got a project going on. We're going to plant some plants. I'm making hoagies for dinner. i got hoagie buns. And I've got, uh, wherever it's at, somewhere. There it is. Mozzarella. And we've got a steak. There it goes. And we've got... 
uh, onions and bell peppers. We're gonna have hoagies. <laughs>